Georgetown and Iona set to face off in this matchup, a pivotal one here in Pool D. Both these teams have a potential to take the pool, and they're going to kick off their night, their afternoon, their day, their entire tournament. They kick it off right here to battle one another. As you saw, Wisconsin took it over Boston College. Iona and Kutztown, their first opportunities to out on the pitch here at the CRC. And we take a look at the starting lines of both these squads. Anyone, Phaedra, stand out to you on either Kutztown or Iona? Yeah, DeMonte Noble for Kutztown, certainly looking to see great things from him. One of the outstanding players on the squad. He's, you know, what he lacks in height at 5'7", he certainly makes up in his explosiveness. Yeah, I remember him at the Las Vegas Invitational, had a great epic try, made a little shimmy, and then took off there. You'll see him out there for Kutztown. Kutztown in the white tops. Iona in the dark tops. So as Kutztown looks to work it for, Kutztown also a strong representation out in the crowd. So you might hear the crowd start to buzz a little bit, especially when he gets into Noble's hands right there as he feeds it off. Iona deflected the pass. We'll see this is a card here. We talked just last match. You gotta make a clean reception there. You can't get in the lane. So he's coming to the sin bin and puts town up a man. Yeah, referee Khalil Harrison not having it right away. So we'll take another look at it here. And so what can he do here to stay out of the sin bin? It's just he's got to make a clean play. He can't put that arm out? Yeah, he can't deflect that ball. What he's done is if he's going to, it's a, it's a, it's a risk-reward thing, right? If you knock that ball on by trying to, to steal it, basically, you're impeding upon, uh, in this case, Kutztown's opportunity to advance and play. And it's just not tolerated in the game of sevens. And if I'm not mistaken, they're really starting to crack okay. down a bit more of late on that. It wasn't always a card? wasn't always. In recent the last couple of years, it's wobble, wobble. resulted in a, in a yellow card. And so if you're going to go for that crouch. inner set, you better, you better make it. That's bottom line. Set. Or you're going to sit out for two minutes. And we saw Dartmouth earlier. They took advantage of a good turnover there. So risk reward indeed, unfortunately, a bit too risky for Iona. So they're going to play with six. But the ball's in their hands. So they can hold on possession, maybe grind the clock a little and get down to where they can get back to full advantage. Right now, the full grind on pushing that ball forward. So let's see if they can dig it out. All right, that's going to go to Kutztown now. So coming out of the mall there. Kutztown will get the ball. We'll see what they'll set up here. So unfortunate for Iona, as they already going to commit a lot of effort there, maybe even a contact lens or two. Well, Kutztown certainly looking for vengeance against Iona, a loss last year to them. Um, so they're they're looking to turn the tables this year for certain. Find. So get set in the scrum. Here, Khalil Harrison, our official. Fed in by Kutztown. Out to their left. Working towards the top of the pitch. Good cycle right there. Kutztown towards the edge. Aaron Gray gets it back. Thorn O'Connell now working it. See if he can dig it out. Get it in the hands of Noble. Noble takes a look. That step awfully familiar if you watch the Las Vegas Invitational. And they'll retain. See if they can slam down with Iona, still the man in the sin bin. Pulls it free, works it out Noble. Gets it out up top, don't know if he has enough to get there. Works his way through one, trying to fight off another. This is where support is key. Seven, roll. So he didn't roll away, Noble has it now. Bust his way over, does he get it down? Puts down on the board first. Takes advantage of the seven on six manpower and takes a 5 0 lead with the conversion to come. Well, that was a fatal flaw by Iona, and I don't think it was because of the six man. It was because that player on the ground, number seven, did not roll away in such a, a vulnerable position on the field. And we normally see Noble, Demonte Noble, uh, with the tricky feet running from you know distances, but using his power there to explode into that try. Showing his versatility, outstanding job. And he's been handling the ball a bunch as well, so really trying to put all the tools on display. So we'll take a look at the conversion. 
Bit of a farther angle. But the flag goes up, so make it seven. Kutztown early over Iona in this pivotal matchup. The restart here, Iona not quite set, but they are able to get their hands on it. Kutztown getting a little tricky there, Phaedra. Oh yeah, any little thing, right? Unpredictability can in many times play a big role in these sevens matches, and so you gotta put it all out there. And it goes to show the mental focus. Right now we're focused mentally on this young man right here, Michael Scarella. Can he get over the line and in? Iona strikes back so. When you get scored on, you wanna strike back quick. Yeah. Iona does so. Yeah, Michael Scarcella is certainly a star on this Iona squad, just showing his speed, his field vision, able to really look up and really take advantage. At a second glance, that's a nice offload. And then Scarcella with both hands on the ball, little bit of a two-step in and out, and he's got the speed to take it the distance for Iona. And you'll take a look. The passing on this play, Phaedra, really helps set things up. Yeah, it's tricky as it may be, but that's a very becoming a much more common pass in the game. A little flip, a little flick, rather. So Scarcella, the fit lad, straight forward into the try zone. And the conversion is good. So we're knotted up at seven, and that's seven's rugby right there. Try, respond with a try. Here is a tie match, and it'll come down to the restart. Kick not as high. Oh, good contest there. Kutztown has it. It's Noble. He's taking a look there. Fends off one guy. Starting to try to get the engine going. He goes into touch. Come on, man. I don't have the ball. So you're getting a little bit of the ref's mic there, a little bit of feedback from the players. <laughs> I think DeMonte uh, is stating that he didn't have the ball. A little bit of tricky stepping, but... He is no match for the open. touch line. Hold on. So the line out, the whistle goes. More space there. Mr. Harrison didn't like what he saw. So he said yeah, more space in the line out. Guess he wants them a little bit separated from one another, Pedro? Yeah, got to give it a meter. More, you don't want to encroach space. on the tunnel. Yeah, you're good. And you're also, he wants to see the ball go straight in as well. So you can't just throw it to your side. You got to go straight down the middle there. And that was not straight. Exactly. Ironically, that you should say that at that time. Well, you know what? I, I don't know if it's me as a good broadcaster <laughs> or that is a bad play. But either way, we got the exact example we're looking for. That ball has to go straight. It does not do so. So it'll be a scrum now with Kutztown feeding it in. Well, you're a great fortune teller. Crouch. Well, I can tell you right Find. now is Kutztown. Set. If they can pick this ball clean and get points here at the end, they'll be in good shape going into the second half. As Iona's starting to feel themselves a bit after that last try. You can see the energy on the bench, both squads standing up. But now we got Is feet that? moving towards the touchline, stays in once, gets the ball out of his hands, and keeps it going. Good support there by Kutztown. Oh, a bad pick up there. Well, I think the ref had a couple of choices on penalties because I thought that was a high tackle. Well, he's made the decision, Kutztown now trying to decide the best way to get through this Iona defense. Towards the center of the pitch, they'll both have both sides to play with. They go down near our broadcast vantage point. Monte Noble is at the top of your screen, just out of frame there. There he is, let's see if he can skiddy up the pay dirt. To the corner he goes, and a crucial try for Kutztown with zeros on the clock in the first half. They're going to add five more with the try. Crucial ties. All right, let's. Some of the vibe there. Yeah, I made my way out yesterday, and I'll go. Getting the job done just got easier. So you were unable to get seats here at Talent Energy Stadium, but you've picked a good seat there in front of ESPN Plus's coverage of the Penn Mutual Collegiate Rugby Championship. All the fun, none of the sun. So perhaps a good decision by you on the banks of the Delaware River, home of the Philadelphia Union of MLS, and now home of the Collegiate Rugby Championships. Perfect city to host this sport here. And the atmosphere of this tournament is really unlike many. Yeah, it's so vibrant. Fans get into it. It's just an exciting thing, you know. Sevens is such an explosive game. Um, it captivates the attention 
and uh, you never dull moment for sure. At the facility here, there's some fields outside the main complex here. We saw yesterday some of the women's action out there, some men's pool play. We'll take that there, but you get the teams warm up out there, practice out there. So if you're a rugby fan, you haven't made your way to this event, circle it on the calendar, find your way here. But until then, ESPN Plus has you covered up until 1 p.m. today before we shift over. And so there you go. You take a look outside. Those two beautiful academy fields there they use for training centers. There's a fan festival in between there. Have you had a chance to get out and experience some of the vibe there? Yeah, I made my way out yesterday, and I'll go out a little bit later today. But it's just such a, like I said, it's a good energy, uh, great things going on. Everybody's happy, and it's just great rugby. And I know you'll get the chance to go out there in just a little bit as Colin Holly will join me. Um, so bring us back some food if you could. Here's some great I got taste you. out there. I got your back. I got your back. Nice. All right, back to action we go. Kutztown and Iona. It's been a back and forth battle. DeMonte Noble's try at the end of the first half gave us the lead, and really it's run through Noble for Kutztown. We saw him out in the wing a bit. We saw him towards the center of a pitch. He's really been the do-all here. And he even threw it in, but goes over Kutztown's head into Iona's hands, trying to keep it in. Can he stay in touch? He cannot. So Noble throwing in on the line out. Maybe a miscommunication, maybe the throw was just a bit too high there. But yeah. he's going to get a chance to do it again. That's such a delicate thing, the line out throw. It just it requires such precision between thrower and catcher, timing of the lift. You can see that's just not straight. I think just a little bit of a lack of mental focus there on the part of, of Noble. He, he'll want to definitely correct that with two misses in a row. And you know, the start of the second half, you think with the break in the half, they'd come back, you know, fully focused on those small details. But they have some time to Crouch. clean it up. They do have the lead, but Fine. with this scrum in their territory, Set. just past the 10 meter line, they, they want to clean it up rather quickly. Okay. So Iona will get a chance here. Yeah, another, another mistake by Noble, uncharacteristic so far in this match. But again, as you said, it, as you said, it's just about regrouping, taking a nice deep breath, resetting, and just coming out of the gate strong. They really need to put pressure on this Iona attack line. Don't give them an opportunity and space to run. And like I said, these errors are not something in Noble's game, and Iona makes some pay. So there you go, some unforced errors turns into points for Iona. A strong task there, lost a shoe in the process. It looked like Santiago Mascalo don't need shoes. He's got points now, Phaedra. Yeah, he's got points, and this is what I'm talking about. That attack line, that, that Iona just really flooding the lanes, giving multiple, multiple options to score and throwing this, this cuts down defense really off. So we'll see if they can convert it to take the lead. Through it goes. So Iona goes ahead. There you see Santi's first try of the game. You take a look at the Iona bench there. They've made some adjustments during the half. You know, taking advantage of the errors there. So for Kutztown, it's just a two-point game. They can take their time still, clean it up, work through, hopefully perhaps get the ball in Noble's hands or take advantage of some opportunities. Bad restart kick here, that won't go. So here's a great opportunity for them. Yeah, great opportunity indeed. They've just got to take their time and reset, refocus, you know, kind of forget what just happened and really return to the form that they demonstrated in the first half. So let's see what they decide to do with the set piece here. With speed, back in the hands of Noble, works it down. Back around, that's in Aaron Gray's hand. Offloads it there, can he work his way through? Fends off one, doesn't have enough to get over, looking for support, but it does not go cleanly. Stripped again, the whistle goes, but I believe it's gonna go to Iona here. Let's take a look, it was a bit back and forth there, Phaedra. Yep. Looks like both teams had some sloppy play. Yeah, but I think the final call was Thank a knock buddy. against Kutztown, but I mean, incredible ad, a, effort on attack. There we go. Just got to fine tune those details, especially when you get that deep Crouch. into uh, opposition fine. territory. Powers, if you it's go, all set. about finesse. So Iona back in. in deep, but they will the get defeated in. 
under Watch two minutes screen. here in Hold. pool D. This match is a pivotal oh one for this pool. We saw Wisconsin earlier. And that's a second a yellow time. card will go to Noble. So DeMonte Noble is going to sit in the sin bin. Kutztown's going to be down a man while down two. This is a huge opportunity for Iona. What do you try to do here? You just start running clock with a minute 30? Do you try to push forward with the man advantage? What are we looking at here, Phaedra? Well, I mean, yeah, you slow it down. You burn the clock. As you can see, they're kicking it to touch. They're going to walk to the or make their way to the line out. But you want to take a look here. DeMonte Noble just jumping the gun a bit too soon. And that was his second infringement of this of identical fashion. And referee just wasn't having it. That earlier infraction that set up the Iona try that gave them the lead. So we'll see on the line out here. Very deliberate, taking their time. Any stone in the space there? Time on. Time is steadily ticking off the clock. So as we get set, line out in goes the Iona. Under a minute to play. Up by two here in pool D. Iona and Kutztown. Bad pass there, we'll turn it over. So now Kutztown in Iona territory, but DeMonte Noble in the sin bin. Someone's gonna have to step up and make the play here. Now they'll start it with a scrum. And being down a player, they're gonna have four committed in close, just two behind. Fine. Well, you see they're set up, obviously, a bit deep and steep. They need to buy a bit of time so that they can allow their support to return to good support position. They don't need to rush this. They've got plenty of time. They've got possession. Really play it strategically. No need to rush. Aaron Gray throws it out wide. Daquan Perry falling his hands, working his way. You hear the Kutztown faithful starting to get a bit vocal. And he was tackled, didn't release it there. So back Iona's hands as it gets to zeros. So they can kick it out here and take it on the restart. So some pivotal second half mistakes. And Iona takes advantage of it. 14 to 12, Iona takes this matchup. Thank you so much, Phaedra Knight, for joining me. Colin Holly will join me in just a moment here on ESPN Plus. Don't go anywhere. Plenty of non-stop action on the way. What does life insurance have to do with rugby? Tradition, values, respect. Rugby has deep roots and a vision for the future. So does